Morning. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> Here we are in the middle of the med. Yep. <laughs> the sun is out and the sea is calm. Yep. Not a noise, not a bang, not a creak. No, nothing. Absolutely still. Yeah. Really nice voyage this one so far. So far. Yeah. So today's a sea day. Yeah. And it's that kind of day where you lounge around the pool a bit. Um, I'll take you for a little ship tour later. I'm not going to do an in-depth one because you've seen them before and everybody does them. So I'll take you for around some of the interesting points. Um, probably some tricks and tips as everybody does nowadays. Don't know what they're going to be, but we'll make them up and see if people like them. <laughs> one trip and trip and tick. <laughs> okay, that's not, new. <laughs> yeah, new. One tip and trick or, or one thing about the cabin. Let me just spin you around. And I'll show you what I mean. So one slight annoyance, it's only a slight one, but it's me. There's not a lot of room in these cabins, obviously, but enough room to, to do what you need to do. But this, I keep catching my bleeding leg on it. That is rock solid. It's a piece of metal. Uh, so be careful of that because they hurt. <laughs> but the tip and trick and all that sort of stuff we've done for years is this. So we've always bought with us, and it's probably nothing new to most people, but we've always bought with us a connector bar. And from there, you can plug into their continental sockets, which are, which are these two pins like that. And you can then transfer everything you need to into the UK format, and you can plug stuff into there. So at the moment, we've got this block in here and that charges our phones and a couple of USB-C cables. Got a spare one there because we've got loads of USB-C stuff. And that Kindle. one's for my yeah, Kindles and what else we've got? Oh, yeah, I forget. But it's, uh, cameras, obviously, that I'm using at the moment. Um, that is for the laptop at the moment, uh, the tablet we've got. Um, but these are really handy. They don't cost much, obviously. And it's just easier than messing about. And it still leaves things free because we've got a, uh, we've got a, where is it? Uh, an old, lovely, we'll get it in a minute, hairdryer in there. The hairdryers are not great. Yeah, the hairdryers aren't great, but they do plug straight in there. Um, but they're on the flexi, but every time you pull them, they come out. <laughs> so it's great. Anyway, I am waffling, but there you go. Quite a lot of uh, space to hang your clothes. As you can see, we've got all their clothes in there. Um, plenty of room just to mull around really the door yesterday I saw that's actually an adjoining cabin so I guess if you've got a family you can have half the family in one side half the family in the other but that's locked so we can't get through so we can't steal their things in the middle of the night <laughs> 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 or something like that right shall we um eat breakfast. yeah it's breakfast first yeah and then we go and laze around and see if we can find a sunbed which is usually not impossible on um, sea day isn't it it is so it'll be interesting on it this one interesting yeah. yeah there's a lot of um senior people on this cruise so we might strike lucky who knows you never know and there's a lot of drunk people last night so they may still be in bed till midday yeah <laughs> right let's do it semi healthy meal <laughs> yeah, a bit of an impromptu one this time. Starting at the top, we're on deck 11. And if you're feeling energetic, try the wall. Fancy going up there, Deb? No. <laughs> there you go. One of the remnants left over from the Royal Caribbean days. There you go. That's what we look out on today. Very peaceful. Very relaxing. <laughs> and a little bit of mini golf as well, if the mood takes you. Oh, 
and around the top deck here you see the red path on this ship it takes you all the way round and if you do it four times you've walked a mile so when we go and look in that buffet in a minute you can walk your buffet off by walking around here So, as you can see the entertainment team are doing lots of things on sea day trying to entertain all the people that are just trying to fall asleep on some beds but bless them eh <laughs> so down there you've got the pool area and you have got the big screens on the deck where they play movies at night as well and you haven't got to go very far before you find a bar so we come down to deck nine now outside you've got darts table tennis those to do and we're gonna have a quick walk through islands restaurant now we come here most of the time we don't tend to go for the um, the sit-down menus because pretty much everything's the same. Yeah, yeah. The food is pretty much exactly the same. So just setting up now for obviously the afternoon teas and also then getting ready for the evening meals. We had breakfast here this morning, but there's still even through the day plenty to eat. <laughs> there you go. Even some duck. <laughs> As you can see, everybody's so friendly. You've got your water machines, you've got your coffee machines, you've got your juicy machines. You've got everything you need. I've got to say the salads. And a man from Barbados, yeah. <laughs> and I've got to say, the salads, very fresh, very nice. Yeah. Any time we eat salads, <laughs> when we're on holiday. <laughs> so that's Ireland's on deck nine. Also, obviously, what we've just seen from deck 10 is the pool area. Again, drinks machines here, bars over there, and uh, Deb's favourite bit in the corner, the ice cream machine. I'll let you run that over to our winners there. Uh, congratulations to all of our winners, but Ocean Spa, everyone is a winner with our managers and specials. Everyone is a winner with a glorious 50 minute spa manager special package. All of them following for the discounted price of £97. You get your back. So there you go, heading back inside again. One of the most impressive things of this ship, the atrium. For those who got vertigo, switch off now. <laughs> yeah, many years ago when it was Royal Caribbean, that bit there used to be for the acrobats to um, do their thing inside the atrium. Yeah, and the winches are still up there, so um, what are you in there? Maybe, maybe a bit later? No way. <laughs> as you've seen on all the other ships as well, you can always tell where you are. Somewhere else to eat as well, you've got the snack shacks. Okay, pretty much the same on all other ships as well, you've seen these before, so you've got the little beach huts to sit in and um, sandwiches you can pick up they do chips burgers all sorts of good things just to keep you going through the day and now through to one of my favorite places came here yesterday but this 
is the glass house. <laughs> no, I've pushed these doors there. There you go, so a nice little quiet area and adults only from five I guess. Well, it used to be, but I've not seen that notice anywhere mm -hmm. this time. It used to be four to yeah. six it was adults only, yeah. but whatever it is now. So there you know. go. It's a lovely area just to relax in. It does get a bit warm in the middle of the day, but um, yeah, you've got your jacuzzis and you've got a lovely little swimming pool. It's very, very nice. And again, a nice little area to eat. Um, pretty much the same as the restaurants in here, um, but they do do pizzas. And I believe they cook calzones in the evening for you. There you go, quick scan down the menu. That's the lunch menu, yes. <laughs> Not the evening menu, dear. And if you fancy a bit of pampering, We've got the spa area but we won't be going in there personally so now we're on deck eight quick scan of the ship again not much on here apart from bedrooms but we will have a quick look on the platform as i said this is when it was royal caribbean we used to get the acrobats poised for action on here and they used to do aerial stuff inside the whole atrium and I'll keep scanning this as we go down. So we're going to head down to five now. We'll just have a quick look around. We're on eight at the moment. Mostly eight to six is you know all the bedrooms. Um, you have got the coffee port on seven. Um, if you like good coffee, that's something else you have to pay for. But we're going to set Willy Wonka's glass elevator now. I'll have a quick look downstairs. And when you get to deck five, you can sweep down the marble staircase and then go and hoover that bit over there. Again, another bar here. Um, entertainment does happen on here. Um, I don't know what night, but they one year had a pantomime here, which is quite interesting. But as you can see, another bar, lots of lighting. And uh, you've got the destination services and reception desk over there as well. And we can see, oh, it's the shops. No. Oh, the penguins. The penguins. Let's, yeah. go, let's go see the penguins. It's the first time I've seen them. <laughs> so these are the Discovery famous penguins and they do move around. So although they're stuck here at the moment together, by the end of the week they'll have done a whole ship's tour just like us. <laughs> <laughs> so quickly looking down we've got an uh, area here where they do say certain entertainments. Um, I think we've got the ballroom dancers on here later uh, or tomorrow, I can't remember which day now. Um, piano that sometimes gets played it is automatic as well so you can sit in here sometimes and it will be just tinkling away to itself but quite a nice area um, and probably one of the best atriums of the fleet to be honest the two discoveries are lovely atriums being ex Royal Caribbean uh, the Voyager and the two explorers nice but not a pun on these yeah just impressive right as I said, we've got the reception area here. And now, somebody will be happy to know, the shops are open. we're going to have a walk through the shops. <laughs> right. Probably spending loads of money on aftershave for our son, because he, he does kindly take us to the airport, so we're bringing some expensive aftershave back. He does. He looks after Teddy, a little Westy Poo. So, um, yeah, there's. Um, duty freeze here and, and we found last time actually on the Explorer um, when we got to the airport the drink was more expensive at the airport duty free than it was on the ship so we're gonna have a look this time and see how it pans out but um, yeah we kind of wish we'd have bought it on the ship last time it was a special offer though wasn't it it was a special offer but it was definitely cheaper on the ship than the airport uh, airport duty free doesn't seem that cheap anymore personally but but we can have a look around
as we've shown on the other ships before, these are all over the place. So you've got interactive screens. You've got a bank of them downstairs, but on most floors, you've got an interactive screen that gives you the ship details, where you are, where the places are you need to be. Uh, and you can also view things as well. So as you can see there, you can view the bar menus of every bar on the ship. Um, you should have restaurant menus on here as well. Where are we? Uh, do, 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 do. There you go, 47. So you've got the wine menu, you've got the lunch menu. So you can click on any of these, scroll up, and you've got everything you need to know. So very handy to have around the ship. And if you get lost, you just come up to one, and there you go. You can see where you are um, on five. Six. Uh, also, static boards as well. And through the Squid and Anchor, this is where all your evening entertainment happens. Uh, some daytime as well, but usually in the daytime it's very quiet. You can come here and just chill out and relax. That's uh, quite a big entertainment value. Value? Venue? <laughs> No, I'll have another drink yet. But, uh, yeah, loads goes on here. I think it starts at about 7 o'clock and goes through to around about midnight. Can get very noisy. Um, sometimes difficult to get a seat as well. But uh, nice place to be as well. Yeah, and quite a big bar. There you go. There are waiters, yeah, that, that walk around taking your orders, yeah. Um, I think this ship, to be honest, seems to have a better waiter service than the Explorer. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say that. Mm -hmm. Right, let's see where else we go. Right, going to head down to four, look at the Broadway Show Lounge, also look at the paid, not the paid restaurants, the sit-down restaurants. And then we'll, um, last of all, go up to the most important place to spend your evening. <laughs> Bar 11. <laughs> Photo op. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Okay, you've got the live rooms in there. That's where they also have evening entertainment. That's where we spent last night as well. And then straight across the Broadway. Follow me. Let's hope they're not rehearsing. Oh, I think they are. Right, we won't get too involved because they are rehearsing at the moment, but there you go. There's your Broadway show lounge. But we're leaving to rehearse. So there you go, we won't pester them. Um, you've seen the show lounge before and there's plenty of videos of the place and I'm sure it will feature in the videos we do for the rest of the week. So as I say, just gonna quickly walk through the live lounge and the stage is there. They've got some good groups on here, to be honest. We came in last night. Um, I forget the name of them now, but we had... Uh, oh yes, we, we love to be bar flies around the piano. Nobody's played it yet, but um, it's really good when that strikes up. Somebody's going to do it tonight. Hmm. It looks like that's possible. It should it? be good. But we had, um, what was the guy's name last night? Peter Cox. Peter Cox, we had him on. And then yeah. um, the on, I can't remember the name of the group now, but they were oh, quite with, good. With, with the... Yeah, it's on the previous video anyway. Because <laughs> yeah, we've seen two groups in there. We have, yeah. But the groups are pretty good, got to yeah. say. Music was one, mm -hmm. and the other one was the collection. Yes, you're right. So there you go. And look at eye level of the atrium, the very bottom level. And then heading through to 47. And again, they'll be getting ready for the afternoon menus, so I'm not going to pester them too much, but quick walk through don't like to get in people's way when we're doing videos because they've got a very important job to do very little time to do it and dare I say probably very little pay as well <laughs> yeah the staff on here like all ships absolutely amazing they work so hard yep there you go so piano in here as well which we have heard being played 
Yeah. Uh, not this time, but before. And then you've got the upstairs, Gallery 47. Follow us. Is this the one that's Italian? Yes, yes. Yeah. So that's your evening menu down there. Again, much the same as you get in the Islands restaurant, but sit down and, and wait a service. And yes, your Italian is up here. Yeah. Maybe if I can take some screenshots, I'll put some of the menus on as well, just so you've got an idea of what they do. But uh, as you can see, lovely area. Very, very nice. And now we need to head out before somebody throws us out. So, we're going to take Willy Wonka's elevator again and we're going to go to the very last place. Bar 11. The disco. The disco. <laughs> we do like our disco at the end of the night. Yeah, and it got very lively last night. Um, oh, oh gosh. Four, no, five years ago now, I was working in there thanks to Ronaldo Lewis. So, um, yeah, it's quite nice to see, uh, see the area again. There you go, this is where we were last night, having a little boogie. And this is where the magic happens. <laughs> Hasn't changed a lot. Oh, happy memories. Right, so if you're up here as well, you got the sushi bar, Coralara as well. So this is the page four. But again, yeah, quite a nice area. Somewhere just to chill out, relax, have an evening meal, something a bit special and something a bit different. Yes, the old style chandeliers. They used to have these on the IE many years ago. <laughs> there you go, here's your steakhouse. Again, paid for, but something a bit different. And if you like your steaks, I did look on the menu last night, they've got uh, an Angus fillet steak, which sounded quite nice. So you never know, might end up here by the end of the week. Do look a good steak. <laughs> this is the good thing about walking around in the daytime. You can tend to look at things you don't tend to usually get a look for, because there's nobody in here. This is a, an evening activity. And it's just really nice and then when you've had your steak you can walk back out again into the disco and work it off <laughs> and there you go we're back around to where we started from in the sushi restaurant and Kurala that way and then back to the bar to the disco and that's about it Again, wasn't going to be a completely inclusive ship tour this time. Just some of the really nice places to go to and some of the nice places to be. And now we need to go back to our sunbeds. Yeah. <laughs> and after a day of sunbathing, you come back and find vermin on your bed. <laughs> there you go, our first towel animal. You need bells! As long as it's not a rat. <laughs> <laughs>
evening. Good evening. Dressed to impress night. It is. We're off to get some food and then who knows, could be <laughs> anywhere. But we've made the start. We've made a start. Hope to get to the show tonight because we missed it last night. We did. We did. Lifts. A little beef Wellington tonight. Same for you. <laughs> You're always Cheers. drinking you, are huh? Oh yeah, well, on a cruise, what else do you do? <laughs> well, I've got nothing at all. I'm just, I, I've, um, I've, um, oh, lads bought me a beer. <laughs> Better drink it. You add. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we're in the show lounge. Yeah. Yes. Drinks. So we've got some drinks. Now if I spin the punters round. I make them dizzy. No, I try not to. Hold on. Hey, there you go. Simple as that. We have a um, rockology show to watch. Yeah. We're in here early. Doors only just opened. We've got a half hour wait. Yeah. But. Well, we like to choose our seats. Yes. But apparently it's a bit loud. That's what so, we've heard. So we're sitting at the back. But it is rock. <laughs> what do we expect from rock? Exactly. <laughs> so there you go. Let me just give you a pan round because we couldn't get in here earlier with the uh, the ship tour. So there you go. It's a single level one, this one, not like the Explorers and the Voyager. But plenty of room. 800 odd people, I think I heard mentioned earlier. So plenty of seats. But uh, a nice theatre. It is a nice theatre. And it's comfortable as well. Some of them are not very comfy to sit in. Mm, yeah, these seats are. But these ones are nice. All right. Mm. Right, so what's the show? Oh, 
Day two finished, the day at sea. Yeah. Finished in the disco with um, some soft drinks, obviously, because, yeah. And we were the last ones on the dance floor. Yes, we were. So <laughs> now we're off back to the cabin. So we'll do a little outro now because we've got to keep quiet when we go back to the cabin. But we're not near the cabins. We're in the casino. We are. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And they, um, hello. <laughs> Oh, that's such friendly stuff around here. Yourself, hey! Yourself. <laughs> Where's the camera? <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, as you can see, we've got lots of friends already on this ship. <laughs> barman. The barman, yeah. Barman. He came off the Voyager. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and. Um, oh, Peter Cox as well, he was off the Voyager. Yeah, he was. So, they seem to have moved quite a few people around. But uh, yeah, nice to see some familiar faces. Yeah, anyway, nice. we are um, heading back to the cabin. Yeah. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night, all. Good night, everybody.